Word to you, you know the rest. Today I'm gonna to be doing a first impressions video from the house of Alexandria Fragrances. So most of you know that ages ago I started a little mini series where I did first impressions of Alexandria Fragrances because I had a load of their samples. Now I've run out of those samples and stopped that mini series, but the guys at Alexandria apparently quite enjoyed the, the videos. So they sent me some more samples free of charge. So thanks for that guys, really appreciate it. So today I'm gonna to be doing a first impressions of uh, Alexandria's Apple Crumb. So this is their version of Puff and Damali's um, Ojon, which I've never smelt before. All I know is it's meant to be quite gourmandish and I'm guessing it's, it's apple-y. Um, so yeah, as always with first impressions video, bear in mind that I'm only getting the sort of maybe the top notes and maybe some of the mid notes as well. Um, obviously a fragrance can completely change in the dry down. So always remember that when you're watching first impressions videos. So let's give this a go. Here we go. Just give it a little moment, give it a wave. So. Cool, cool fucking hell. Cool, it's like. Cool, jeez, it's like. It's almost like boozy. It's really weird. I wasn't expecting that. Like the opening's almost got like this real rich intenseness to it that I would. From that opening, it's almost like, yeah, like a kind of, almost like a boozy accord. I don't know what sort of booze. Um, and it starts slightly, uh, starting to dissipate now, so it's not as intense. Now, I emphasize it was more like a boozy accord and not just like the alcohol that you get from uh, a fragrance. So I'm not talking about just the alcohol, I'm talking about like a boozy type of quality, because it's just quite rich and intense. So it's slowly starting to settle down now. And it's losing that kind of intenseness, um, that sort of boozy kind of vibe that I got. So I'm getting um, the cinnamon coming through. Um, well, I think that I've seen the cinnamon in there. And I guess if it's called apple crumb, it's kind of an apple crumble type cinnamon type vibe. But yeah, so that makes sense. So it's not as... It's not as full-on sweet gourmand as I was maybe expecting, if I'm honest. So it's really intense, like I say, almost boozy opening. It's getting a little bit more cinnamony now and settling down. I think I'm starting, it's starting to get some um, sort of tobacco kind of vibes coming on. I would imagine when that kind of settles down, it's going to be a kind of nice, quite a sophisticated, sort of formal kind of fragrance. Yeah, like I imagine wearing that to a quite a formal kind of dinner type thing. So you've got that sort of rich um, gourmandiness from the cinnamon um, and then the sort of tobacco vibes giving it like a kind of sophisticated gent kind of classiness to it yeah i mean it's only a couple of sprays there but it feels like it's lost some intensity just in the fragrance fairly quickly that's really it's really nice it's really i mean no doubt it's a nice fragrance i don't know how it compares to the original um it's, I say it's it's the cinnamon is what it makes it gourmand. It's not like got this sickly sweetness that you often get with a gourmand type fragrance. So this I think could work quite well in mean, more seasons than you typically get. I thought it was just going to be kind of winter, but I think winter, spring, summer evenings if it's a cooler evening for again like a formal dinner. But yeah, I mean there's there's some nice sort of pleasantness to it so perhaps you could wear it on like a, a Sunday lunch or something so it doesn't have to be formal because it is a, a sort of nice the cinnamon is quite a nice alluring pleasant kind of smell with nice subtle tobacco so yeah it's a, that's a really nice scent I really like that uh, don't know how it compares to the original. Um, let me know, what's your favorite from the house of Alexandria? What's your favorite from uh, Puff and Damali? Um, is Ojon any good? Does it last? I've never smelt it. So let me know, I'll be curious to see what you guys think. But yeah, apple crumb, I would recommend to somebody that presumably likes the original, but yeah, if you like cinnamon, that's very prominent in this, so I'd recommend it for that. And um, the tobacco, 
it's starting to come through, but it's not too strong. So yeah, something that's that likes cinnamon and that's likes a more cooler weather or formal type fragrance, then I think this, this could work well. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you get anything out of it, like, subscribe and all that shit. And I will see you for the next video. Take care, much love.